Well, here I am at the lake, and guess what? There's the duckies. Now, John, is there all three of them there, plus the big guy? Yeah. All of a sudden, this big guy showed up. He's one of those Muscovy ducks that everybody dislikes. I don't know why they dislike them. I guess they're kind of pesty. Just because they hiss at you and chase you. Yeah. But here's my three little ducks. They're so cute. That's Brutus. The other ones don't really have a name. Here's our poor little lake. It goes off into a figure eight over there. I'm on the dock. Write down that number, get on the phone, make us an offer. You can see where the water level, level should be. It isn't out there, although John says there's three inches in the rain gauge. Okay, I'm inside of our, motor, our mobile home at Lake Susan now. I'm just going to go on a quick little tour, show you what it's like. This is, I was just in the master bedroom, and Here's the bath. And the utilities are here. There's a back door here. Coming down the hall is a furnace. And go into the kitchen. There's the kitchen area. There's a little bar. And that's the living room. And this is the extra bedroom. And this is the second bathroom. Well, now I'm out on the porch that John works so hard on. This was the end where my greenhouse was.
It's all windows across. And I'm in the Florida room part now. And then that's the end down there where he had his office. And, uh, or you could have another bedroom. And he had a really good idea to tie it all in so it looked like really cute with the uh, paneling. I'm going to go outside now. I'm inside of the gazebo. John was out here today scrubbing down the outside of the house. I guess it had uh, mildew stains on it. And he doesn't want to be in the pictures because he was working real hard and he's all hot and sweaty and tired. See, we did leave a couple pindos. <laughs> Well, let's see the rain gauge. John said we had some rain today in there. Looks pretty full. But I guess the whole water table is so low out in this part of Florida that it's going to take more than just good rain. That's our neighbor Ed's over there. This is a jasmine that's really gone crazy out here with no, no attention. It's done really well. We had a lot of fun out here. Did a lot of work. That's our neighbor, the Clarks. And next to them is Vic and Joanne Goings. They tried to retire down here, but they didn't last. They went back to Jacksonville. This is the back. I have a garden here that used to be and a grape arbor. We left all the trees back here. This is a laurel oak like we planted in our front yard and someday it will be that big and pretty. I left some poor old bromeliads that were like second class citizens and here they've lived through winters and here I come and this guy evidently flowered. That's pretty incredible. They were just left here. And they're multiplying. These are live oaks and you can see their branches are low and twisted, full of Spanish moss. And then over here is our little shed that used to be the doggy kennel. And it's in a separate fenced kennel area. Okay, now I'm going to go for a walk in what used to be my beautiful English garden. John always had these pathways like totally free of leaves and I had just flowers planted all over. It's a beautiful place. And here's the entrance to my garden that John made me. I contemplated moving this home, but it's just so big and he he said if I need another one in a certain spot, he'll build it for me. I had climbing roses on it, and the bougainvillea was on it. That's by the front door at the house now.
Here's the other side of my English garden. There's a little well house. And here's the front part of the yard by the road. There's our gate. Here's the big old palm that was here by nature. It's a cabbage palm, a sable palm, the state tree, although it's not really a tree. And I even thought about moving it, but there's no way. It belongs here. This is a beautiful tree. There's a butterfly. Isn't he beautiful? This place has got the most gorgeous butterflies. He's really eaten away. This is hydrilla. It's a beautiful water lily that grows around here, but uh, it can clog up a lake so bad that they've outlawed it and they're trying to get rid of it. And when you go to public boat docks, there'll be a sign that says you have to clean any piece of hydrilla off of your propeller and stuff. And if you drag it from one lake to another, there's a big fine. This is Lake Hardesty. It's right down the road from our place, and we have this access here. It's private. It's a pretty little lake, and it, it isn't affected by the low water. And he's leaving. There he goes. He's going to go on home. He says he's tarred. There's gators in all these lakes. Well, I'm going to leave this end of the lake and go on down to the other end of the lake. This is our place. You might want to have paper and pencil ready. Here's the number one more time. Cell mail, cell. Well, I'm in the little trailer now. This is where I lived up in Lake City. We don't have any utilities in here, so it's um, it's dark. This is the back bedroom we have a set. This is just using natural light, so I don't know how good it will be. This is real cute. It has a view of the lake out the front windows here. This is a cute little trailer. It's all set to go. There's dishes in the cupboards. All we need is utilities here. What we're hoping to do is put that in when we sell the, the bigger place and then use this for a while until we can retire to the beach. What I was looking for, I knew I had that somewhere over the door. Now there's arching oak trees right outside the front window.
Ray Childs owns this lot over here next door. Some pretty oaks around here. This is out by the road. This was all um, bushwhacked down, what, two years ago? 87? Now you can hardly get through it again. There's the other end of Little Lake Susan. My neighbor Art is quite a gardener and that's some of his um, banana trees. It's that pure white sand. Okay, this is my neighbor, Art Kessler. He lives How do you do? <laughs> and he kind of keeps an eye on our place over here, but he is a gardener. And look at this. This is a papaya. And uh, the fruit is how far? Like two feet off the ground. Yeah, just about, not even two feet, probably. And they are just beautiful. And the tree is about six feet tall. Yeah, that's incredible. And then we're right next to the bananas here. And I'll show you some more of his garden in a minute. Okay, here's um, Art's gardens. He's got, there's another papaya. There's three of them over there, believe it or not. And he's got um, two more big trees. I guess they're called trees. Yes, papaya trees. And he's got some ripening back in there. I don't know if I zoomed in over there, but he's got uh, beans. Let me go and, back. Maybe I can open it up for you. Yeah, okay. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, this is his winter garden. You should have seen his spring and summer garden. And he's he's organic too. He doesn't use any there. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> that's wonderful. And what we have panting here is his two Australian ridgebacks. They're not real, uh... Well, I was just talking to Art John, and he was telling me that under this thing, the insulation's falling down, which indicates a leak that's pulling that down. And he said it's big enough for an animal to crawl up in there. And you're going to need to get um, some flashing or caulking or something and come hold that up there. We're going to have a major problem. So I thought I would or photograph it so you could see what he was talking about. Sorry. Well, there's a storm coming up, so I better get on home. Art says this guy over here makes whirly gigs that are um, bald eagles. He's got one in his garden. They're real cute. I'll have to go track them down. That's Ray's lot over here. And there's our little place.